hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix a failure to installize direct 3d for games in windows 11 10 8 and 7 let's fix it guys method one is to update the directx version first of all you just need to go to search menu and type run click on open the run and type here dix dx di ag and press enter select the s yes option and now you can able to see where directx version you just need to make sure you have the minimum requirements of directx the minimum requirement is directx 9.0 and later in my case i have directx 12 if it's older than the required version then you will need to update the directx guys to do this just exit this and open up chrome search direct x download press enter select the first link select your language and select the download option after getting download and install it after the installation done you can check if the problem solved or not if not method 2 is to update your graphics card driver to do this you just need to go to search menu and type device manager click on open it you just need to expand the display adapter section under here you can able to see where graphics card model name you just need to note down your graphics card model name after that just to close stuff here and open up chrome and type here if a graphics card model brand name like in my case i have graphics card nvidia driver download press and done select the first link and now you just need to select accept all and select a graphics card model over here first geforce and next the graphics card series in my case i have a 5080 graphics card windows 11 language and after selecting uh, our graphics card model over here select the find option and now you will get the latest version of drivers over here as you can see this is the latest version january 30th february 13th this is the latest one select the view option select the download option and download the latest driver after getting download done you just need to install it after the installation done you can check if the problem solved or not if not method 3 is to repair visual c plus plus redistributables to do this just need to go to search menu and type control panel click on open it select uninstall your program if you have lots of microsoft visual c plus plus listed over here then you just need to right click on it one by one and select uninstall select yes select the uninstall option and uninstall it one by one after uninstalling all the microsoft visual c plus plus listed over here just to close stuff here and open up chrome or browser just need to type here visual sleep plus plus download press enter select the first link scroll down just need to download the x64 and x86 version both version you just need to download it select both links after getting download done you just need to install both of these versions after the installation done you can check if the problem solved or not i hope one of these methods fixed your problem if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you